legend be Arthur and my little dog Miles. Hello, Miles. Very good. Ooh, she looks quite cross, doesn't it? Uh, listen, listen. <clears throat> this is my first guest, Miss Arthur. She's quite a gal. But now it's time to meet my second guest. She's gorgeous. She's one lady who knows how to take care of herself. And when they met, it was murder. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephanie Powers. <laughs> Of course you oh, can. Good. One each. Oh, good. I oh, bought great. a pair. That's what I said. You were very generous. <laughs> oh, dog's going to distract me now. He's very cute, but he's distracting. Oh, he's a So dog. I'll, I'll let him go walk. He's got... Oh, can I see him? Oh, you'll see him. Oh, he likes you. Oh, yes, you're very much. Oh, you're very much. Oh, you're very much. Oh, you're very much. Oh, you're Okay, uh, bye, bye, bye. Good dog, good dog, good dog. Bye. This is my friend you do that. Because then, then he goes mad. He has no idea yes, what's he's happening now. Can you scratch yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, like oh. that. She has powers. Okay. He's going back there. Fly or free, straight little one. Slightly broken. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie Powers, welcome. Now, I, do, I was looking at calendars, and uh, there's a fantastic calendar that I think fans <laughs> must have made it of, of Heart to Heart. No, it's all very tasteful. You've got oh, everything. Don't good, worry. <laughs> I was just wondering. No. Because there's a website on the internet that has a. Has a um, they put your head on somebody else's body naked. And I thought it would be a vast improvement, and unfortunately, it wasn't. Was, I was very disappointed. Was I thought it on that... Robert Wagner's body? No, you know. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is this is all very tasteful, and it is you. I'm sure it's you. It's February, very romantic month, February, and sure enough, heart to heart, Mr. and Mrs. H. Here you are, kissing away on the beach. It's very Aww. lovely, and then you follow the picture down. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What? I don't. What's he doing there? <laughs> is he a member of the crew? What? He must have oh, been. There's a My person God, there. Is there. There is a person there. Yes. And what is that over there? That's, That's a little hand. Oh, I hope it's a hand. <laughs> I know. That must be a member of the crew. Just. You never know where they're going to pop up. No, very devoted to Juicy. Yeah. Yeah. But now, before Heart to Heart, which is why, you know, we know you. Oh, that's certainly why I knew you so well, because of watching that show. I wasn't aware that you you were sort of an almost like an action hero on television. You were April Dancer. Well, I actually, I, st I started my life as a dancer. I started my life as a dancer for Jerome Robbins uh, in oh. West Side Story. Oh, oh. I didn't was, know uh, that. Uh, I didn't 15 know that. years old. Uh, and I was in uh, production at West Side Story. So I was a dancer who sang. Now I sing, because my leg can't go up that high anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not even for a few good friends. Not even for... <laughs> <laughs> but as but as the girl from Uncle, April yes. Dancer, and week after week would, would fight off Thrush, and uh, <laughs> her constant enemy was Thrush. Being uh, it's cute as hell, you know. It's difficult to get rid of. I don't understand, but there you go. <laughs> uh, and you, you, no, it was the name of a, some sort of evil superpower. It was. It was the. Uh, it was the bad guy. These were the someone in a board, someone in a boardroom was laughing really hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was the precursor to all of those uh, those other movies. But you see this. You see this. Garf Mugland. Here you are, the gun. You think you know this must be close to a feminist tract. This annual, and then you go the back. So. You go to the back. Hmm. Recipes that the girls <laughs> might make. <laughs> The way to Mark's heart is through poached egg surprise. <laughs> it was, in fact, you're absolutely right. You know, this was the first time that, uh, that a, um, an action-adventure one-hour television series had starred a woman. So I guess we did break ground a bit. And now, you mightn't get this, but there is an extraordinary bit of you in, in April Dancer uh, mingling with a British celebrity. Uh, there, there you are, spending time with David Meller. <laughs> 
No, I know. That's, it's such a cruel joke to do in front of them. You're both going, who? Who? What is it? Frighteningly, it's a politician who, it's true, he looks like that. He looks like that. We were ahead of our time. <laughs> you really were. You've aged a lot better than him. <laughs> Now, we'd Michael learn it on the show a few weeks ago, and, you know, they keep doing those Walton reunion things. We like them, frankly. And uh, <laughs> would Heart to Heart get back together We again? did, actually. We did eight two-hour movies, which I think are on circulating somewhere in cyberspace, I think. Um, we had a reunion ten years almost to the day that we began shooting the first of the, of the eight two-hour movies, uh, television movies that we did. But it also happened that the day we were, start, we were to start filming was the day of the great big earthquake in Los Angeles. And I remember uh, we were, I was going to be picked up at 5.30 in the morning and uh, my dogs were restless. So they got up and I looked at the clock. It was 4.28 or something. So I thought, well, it's too late. And I went to the bathroom. And uh, as I'm coming out of the bathroom, it hit. And uh, there I was standing in the door jam naked. Uh, and I kept thinking how many other people were standing in the door jam naked at that very moment. There were probably millions of them in Los Angeles. Were you in a door jam naked, B? Were you, were you standing I was pumping in the... paddles at the <laughs> Thinking about both the shows, I mean, we used to love it in the Golden Girls. We used to all gather round and have the cheesecake. Yes. And that, it was just such a lovely thing, yes. the areas yes. and the cheesecake. And then, of course, we remember you, Stephanie, with your brandy and Max making the midnight snacks for you. <laughs> so, oh, yes. uh, for no good reason, we thought we'd see what our lovely audience could cook. Do you see? Sorry, I just talked you food, oh. food, and just, just to get them to cook. And uh, happily, many of them were more than happy to supply a hot crusty pie from my oven. So, uh, <laughs> come with me now, B and Stephanie, as we play you like this. <laughs> <laughs> tart to tart. Do you see tart to tart? Gather in here. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> well, actually, who brought this in? Who's Sarah Killeen with the sweet potatoes? Where's Sarah? Sarah, can I just say, we said you'd make something. <laughs> God made that. <laughs> you didn't make that at all. But still, uh, well, thank you for doing it. You're welcome. Did you buy them specially for the show, or did you have sweet potatoes at all? No, I bought them today. Fair enough. At least you invested some money in it. <laughs> uh, that's very good. Uh, this is this is stunning. This one. Uh, this this is a pierced body. Uh, <laughs> the work that went oh, into God. that is stunning. The loving detail. The pierced nipple there. Pierced belly button. And some terrible pierced. Body <laughs> there. Where's Robin? Where's Robin? Oh, there's Robin. Da -da -da. Have, have you tasted this yourself? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> Nor have I. Um, but it is quite literally a fantastic spread. Um, <laughs> it's, it's lovely. Um, this thing. Where is Shane Murray? Shane, lovely as it looks... <laughs> Is it exactly? <laughs> What's nice about it is that it's a nice combination of sweet and savoury. <laughs> it's dribbling. I know it. it... <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it is! Oh my God! I've got some on me. Oh. Oh. Give it away! Give it away! <laughs> Horrific! Uh, right, but this is amazing. Look. Oh, at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You <laughs> look at that. It's addressed to me to the Did you recognize what it is? Look, it's Betty's tongue. <laughs> it's Betty's tongue made into a fondant fancy. And <laughs> Betty, see Betty down there. There's Betty, right? Now Betty has a strange appliance that she uses called Betty's Tongue. Uh, oh, I don't have one to show you, which is annoying, but it's got five speeds. That's all I'm telling you. <laughs> um, and this is it, Ben. Now, where's Mark? 
Oh. Oh, Mark, the front row. Oh, sorry, model, very far away. <laughs> in your heavy boots. <laughs> so, this, did you really make this yourself? Yes, I did. Really? Yes. My God, I mean, I, do you cook? Uh, yes, I do, but that actually, I actually took half a day off to do that. It took me five and a half hours. Oh. 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 Because that's how long it takes Bessie. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's good. Do you know what I mean? Can I just. Sarah? <laughs> see, buying potatoes, bit crap. <laughs> Five and a half hours, very good. <laughs> it's all worth it in the end. Uh, we'll get three finalists. Oh, that's got to be finalists, really. In fairness, oh, that's yes. got to be finalists. Uh, that. <laughs> We'll make that a finalist then. There you go. Make that a finalist. And, um, and that pierced cake is yeah. pretty stunning. Honestly, are you a trained nurse, Robin? It's marvellous. The attention to detail is stunning. Uh, okay, okay. So, uh, if you want, if you want Betty's tongue to win, yell now. <laughs> If you want Krusty Loaf to win, yell now. Yeah. Very close. Look at it again. <laughs> it's bread in a box, everyone. <laughs> Five and a half hours, bread in a box. <laughs> or, or, uh, if you want the piercing... I've just noticed the lovely hundreds and thousands of pubic hair. It's very nice. <laughs> that, Really nice hat. Uh, if you want the pubic cake to win, yell now. <laughs> what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Pubic cake, I think. Yes, it's a pubic cake. I'm sorry, game. Mark. Five and a half hours, and still we're more amused by a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, Robin, you are a winner. Come on down. Thank you. You, you, that, having eaten that, you now get to sample some proper cooking because we're sending you for the weekend to Paris, courtesy of our lovely friends at youtravel.co.uk. Well done to you. Congratulations. Yeah. See you, Robin. Bye-bye. Yeah. Now, that's it. That's it. My thanks to my guest, the author, Stephanie Powell. so much we haven't had time to talk about. No time to talk about Prince Andrew, who had his 40th birthday party this week. Oh, there was lots of lovely food there, and some of those little things on sticks. What do you call them? Oh, the Queen Mom and Margaret. <laughs> and, uh, no time to talk about the Duchess of York, who went up in the Millennium Eye. It's that big round thing people like to ride on. And she went up in the Millennium Eye. <laughs> Good night, everybody!